I think the best way to try and explain what's happening is to, is to sort of um, consider three separate time periods. There's um, the very short term, so now. There's the sort of medium short term, which I'd characterise as sort of the next year. And then there's the long term, which is when it's all settled, perhaps 10 years' time, with the bit in between being the transition to that. Obviously, in the very short term, we're all poorer because all the equity markets uh, have fallen. Um, and some people possibly are fearing uh, for their jobs. In the medium short term, uh, I think it's looking extremely likely that there's going to be a very negative effect, but we won't actually know probably for the next few weeks or months because the important indicator here is consumer confidence, um, which was incredibly strong up until a few months ago. So Cameron and Osborne were absolutely right to say that the underlying position of the UK economy is in a really good place. It's actually, you know, prior to all this, it was probably in the best possible place in that there was a sort of cyclical upturn. Unemployment was at its lowest level for 40 years. You know, uh, forecasts of employment kept being revised upwards. Every single OBR forecast since its creation revised employment forecasts upwards. Um, you know, astonishing labour market uh, position. I kept getting in trouble from my uh, Labour Party mates from saying this because they want to do everything to be dreadful, you know, because it was a Tory government. But it, it's, it, it is objectively uh, true. And yet interest rates hadn't started rising. So it was kind of the perfect time to borrow, to invest, to feel confident. Um, so that is the underlying situation. So there's a little sort of slight glimmer of hope, right? You know, as of February and March forecasts, um, uh, things were okay. But for those of you who have the misfortune to ever be taught economics, you'll know that the sort of various different components of demand in the economy, and I'm going to sort of be, you know, uh, emphasise my, uh, try and e even increase my uh, reputation for nerdiness by just running through them, because it's the, it's the only way to uh, uh, understand what's going on here. So this is how you get an economy moving, right? You either have the government spending loads, they can't because we have uh, austerity. Or you have business investing loads. They stopped at the beginning of the year because they were worried about uh, Brexit, and that's showing very, very clearly through the business confidence surveys. Or you have net exports performing well. Now, maybe that might be a slight glimmer, given that you know perhaps the fall in the pound will boost uh, British exports, but then our main export market is the EU, where you know you might have noticed we've caused uh, a little bit of issues, and also that's quite a small component uh, of the overall level of uh, sort of demand and spending in the economy. Which brings us, of course, to consumer confidence, which is the biggest and most important uh, component, which was really good. And so the best way of understanding what's going to happen in the sort of uh, medium short term is to think what is going to happen to consumer confidence.